Now we've had a whisper about a rumble. A whisper about a sparkler's black. Atten Garden. Savvy? Sorry, sir? <laughs> no faces with shooters. Blagging sparklers. <laughs> Blagging sparklers, eh? <laughs> Bastards. Now the rumble came from my grass. <laughs> you were the drinker in the elephant. Excuse me, sir. You say that your grass is rumbling. <laughs> Singing like a dicky. Where does the elephant come into that? His face is in the blagger from the elephant. And you've got your rumbling grass from the elephant as well, sir. That's right. Any whispers from your grass, Briggs? <laughs> no, sir. Louis, any rumbles from the elephant? <laughs> My elephant? Not likely, sir, no. no. Now, let's take the sparklers. Dave. All adds up. Where they think about rumbling elephants in the police handbook. <laughs> Just keep glass. nodding. Maybe we can persuade him to call a vet. <laughs> Louis, are you receiving me? Sorry, sir. Right now, I want you in the elephant tomorrow morning. Sparrows. To pick up the chummies with the sparklers. <laughs> Got it? You can depend on us, sir. No problem. <laughs> Excuse me, landlord. We're detectives. I was wondering if you could tell me where we could find the local police informer. <laughs> We've got an appointment. <laughs> Looks like your typical salt of the earth South London villain. I'll deal with this. Watch her, me old cock spatter, me old china. I was there indoors then. I was the old trouble and strife. <laughs> Apples and pears. <coughs> Dog and bone. Ruby Murray. <laughs> you must be the pigs from the factory. No, we're police officers, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. We're pigs. And we've come for a rabbit about the rumble in the elephant. Well, you'll get no rabbit from me until you give me a monkey. <laughs> I'm not saying a dicky bird until you give me a monkey. Oh. Did you bring a monkey? <laughs> yeah, a monkey. Of course I didn't bring a monkey. <laughs> Why not? Well, it's not the first thing you think of when you leave the house. Kings, wallet, truncheon, airy primate. <laughs> okay. Make it a pony. <laughs> Oh, come on, you must have a pony in here. <laughs> no pony, no rabbit. Well, could we owe you a pony? I could bring it round to your house later on tonight. <laughs> I need it now, this afternoon. Whatever for? Because I want to put it on a dog at Catford. <laughs> Don't call for Mr Briggs or Mr Lewis. No, I'll, be the I'll get it. I'll get the soup. Yes, sir. Briggs. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Just a moment, sir. It's a super. He thinks he's David Attenborough. <laughs> Apparently he's had a rumble that the faces in the elephant have sussed that we're pigs. And a bloke called Mad Dog is sending down some gorillas in a motor to turn over the fox and goose. <laughs> Close early round here. Don't you? <laughs> One for the road? Yeah, why not? Have you got any real ale? No. Oh, I'll have a campari then. <laughs> oh, the bag of pork scratchings. <laughs> oh, great. Company. Fancy <laughs> them glass, lads? 